awesome. But Bonjour, I'm laying over in Paris to see the Luxembourg Garden, Notre Dame Cathedral, the iconic Eiffel Tower, and many other famous landmarks. Not to forget sampling the famous French crepes, all done under $50 and under 8 hours. Anything I can do, you can do. French architecture. Paris is a cosmopolitan capital and the most populous city of France, with a well-deserved reputation of being the most beautiful and romantic of all cities. It is influential in the realm of culture, art, fashion, food, and design, and has dubbed the city of light and the capital of fashion. It is home to the world's finest and the most luxurious fashion designers and cosmetics. So let's get out of the airport. I suggest you take a RER subway train running every 10 minutes and taking about 45 minutes to a city. Make sure to allocate an hour to get to the first attraction and 2 hours for return. My layover is only 8 hours, but realistically I only have approximately 4.5 hours to explore a few places. So our first stop will be Luxembourg to see the Luxembourg Garden. My flight's been delayed for 5 hours. Initially I have 10 hours in Paris to explore. But now we have four, but still, let's see what we can do within the least amount of time with absolutely almost no money, minus the cost of the train tickets. So, let's go and explore the city. Even though I'm on my own here, at least I made it to the first to-do list, which is the Luxembourg Garden. As you can see, it's not sunny, but at least it's not rainy. So, let's continue on to the next one. But not before I show you around first. Jardin de Luxembourg or Luxembourg Garden was constructed beginning in 1612 by Marie de Medici, the widow of King Henry IV of France for the new resident, the Luxembourg Palace. The garden is famous for its calm atmosphere, surrounding the basin on the rise balustrated terrace with a series of statues of former French queens, saints, and copy of the antiques. Now guys, as much as I love walking, it's impossible to cover as much as we can in 4 hours here in Paris. So I'm going to do something that's smart. Bring a bike and bike around. So just follow me. One, and one day, which is Euro 70. And here's the instructions. And half an hour is free. And then after half an, every half an hour is one euro. You get unlimited 30 minutes ride and you can return to biking any of the 1200 stations across the city. So. We are heading over to Notre Dame Cathedral right now. Yay! Perfect! Completed in 1345, the Notre Dame de Paris translates to Our Lady of Paris. It's a medieval Catholic cathedral. It is widely considered to be one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. And it's among the largest and most well-known church buildings in the world. So number two, Notre Dame Cathedral. And I think we need to go to our next destination. Let's ride. I able to find it while on my bike. So I return my bike, and this is gonna be my first metro experience in uh, Paris. And I am not coming here without seeing the Eiffel Tower. Apparently, I need to get to line one, which is here, and then transfer to line number six. After dropping off the bike at the nearby St. Michel Notre Dame metro station, I hop onto RER yellow subway line bound for Gare du Champ de Mars to the fair station. It's time to go down this way. Okay, so even though Eiffel Tower is around the corner here, I'm going to save more time by getting one of these again. Hey, I paid for the whole day subscription, so let's take advantage of it. The Eiffel Tower is a global cultural icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. It's named after the designer Gusta Eiffel. Constructed from 1887 to 89 as an entrance to the 1889 World Fair, the workers had to work through the night the day before the exhibition opened to meet the deadline. The tower surpassed the Washington Monument to become the tallest man-made structure in the world, a title held for 41 years. Today, it's still the tallest structure in Paris. So, here we go! The Eiffel Tower conquered it in such an amount of time. So, if I can do it, you can do it. And let's see else we can do this is not going to be an end of our door again. 
After cycling this hard, it's time to check out the most famous French dessert at the base of the tower. The crepe is a thin and delicate pancake, typically filled with fresh fruit, chocolate sauce, and whipping cream. Mmm mmm. After sweeten myself up, it's time for another round of triathlon, all the way to Art de Triomphe, or Triathlon Art of the Stars on Champs Elysees, one of the most famous monuments in Paris. The construction began in 1806 to honor those who have fought and died for France in French Revolutionary and the Napoleonic War, and beneath the vow lies the tomb of the unknown soldier from World War I. Sorry, fell off, but. My final destination is right to the opposite of Arc de Triomphe. Place de Concorde is a major public and the larger square in Paris, located at the eastern end of Champs Elysees. Built in 1755 and decorated with the statues and fountains, it was named Place Louis XV to honor the king at the time. The center of the square is occupied by a giant Egyptian oblique decorated with a hieroglyphics exalting the reign of the Pharaoh Ramses II. It is once marked the entrance to the Alexor Temple and one of the two Egyptian government gave to the French in the 19th century. With little over a half an hour to spare, I decided to bike back to the base of Eiffel Tower to see its spectacular lights. And boy, I am not disappointed. With that being done, it's time to return the bike and get back to the Charles de Gaulle Airport. But not without leaving you guys with a nice word of encouragement. Here we go. Less than four hours, we covered so much. You don't need a lot of money, but you just need to travel smart. If I can do it, you can do it. So from Paris, France, I'm going to wish all of you guys a safe travel and have amazing time. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to connect with us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching and have a pleasant flight.